Hello, and in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different as I'm just going to show two videos from my original channel that no longer exists. I was reminded of this when I put out the video covering how to convert and preview DJI waypoint missions in Google Earth. And in that I showed how to use the virtual lychee mission tool in Chrome. Someone commented that they were not aware of this tool before, and I realized that I covered it before, but those videos were no longer available. There were two videos, one covering the original tool that runs on a PC and one covering using the plugin for Chrome. So I'll include both in this one video and put chapter markers into the YouTube description so that you can jump to the one you want. So here they are completely unedited and even including my old logo. Enjoy. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to create these amazing virtual lychee missions in Google Earth using the free tool created by Nimirda. I'll take you through each step, starting with downloading and installing the software, setting up the parameters, and then how to create the virtual mission. So let's get right to it. First, we need two pieces of software, the desktop version of Google Earth and the latest copy of the virtual Leechy mission software. Google Earth Desktop can be downloaded from www.google.com slash earth slash desktop. And I'm not going to cover installing that here. Fortunately for the virtual Leechy mission, Nemurda has made finding the latest version easy since it is always the first post on the Mavic Pilots forum discussion. Go to this URL, which can be found in the video description, and download the file by clicking on it. A new window will open in Dropbox. Click the Download button on the top right. If you're paranoid, like me, you will then find the file and run a virus scan on it, just to be sure. Extract and then run the program. Your PC might complain, like mine does, but I chose to take the risk anyway. Once installed, we can run the program and set up a few parameters that will make our lives easier. So once the program has started, click on Setup and then Change Mission Settings. The most important here is the Watch folder. Any CSV files placed in this directory while Virtual Leechee Mission is running will be processed and sent to Google Earth. This is an alternative means of loading missions for processing. If you check the box that says Delete Files in Watch Folder After Use, then it will delete any CSV files placed here after they have been processed. Log in on the right hand panel in the virtual Leechy mission software in exactly the same way as you would if you were using the Leechy mission hub and with the same user ID and password. Then either create or open a mission that you want to play. I'm going to open one here. Once opened, this is where the magic occurs. Select Missions and then Export as CSV. You will see some activity in the left-hand panel, and assuming all goes as planned, Google Earth will open, and the mission will be created inside. Expand the folder selected in Google Earth, and you should see a little camera icon next to something that says Virtual Mission. Double click on the Virtual Mission and watch as your mission plays out. Not happy with the results? Tweak it in the Mission Hub, save again, and keep going until you have a perfect mission ready to go. And that's it. I wanted to say a big thank you to Namurda for creating this amazing piece of software, and I hope you found this tutorial useful.
Hello. In today's video, we're going to take a quick look at how to transform a lychee mission like this into something like this, where we can see the flight in 3D in Google Earth. Um, super easy to do. So let me just close this down and let's start. Um, I've started with a mission already pre-programmed to save time, um, but it's basically just a simple mission, 350 feet with a waypoint at the Statue of Liberty at 200 feet. And what do we do? We install, if you're using Chrome, you install a plugin called Chrome Leachy Virtual Mission. I've already got it installed. Once it's installed, there are some settings that you can change that are quite important. Um, pick the drone model that you have because it will change the field of view to make it more accurate. And once you have that installed, a new option will appear that says export as VLM. And if you export as VLM, you'll get a download. And if you click on that download and Google Earth opens, and what you'll find is on the left hand side here, there'll be a new mission that has the little camera and also this diagnostics. The diagnostic shows you the flight of the, the, the flight path, um, which can be very useful, particularly when you see it dip down unexpectedly. Um, but in this case, it's a pretty straightforward mission. I'm going to turn that off, double click on the item with the camera. And here we are, a mission in Google Earth in 3D. Um, you can speed it up to make things look a bit more interesting. But that's it, a great way to test your missions before you get on site and a great time saver. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, you can like our page at Facebook at, at aviusaerialmedia.com.